and this muscle is called iliacus and iliacus and psoas major they will form one common tendon and they will become iliopsoas and they will rotate your thigh like this all right thigh rotation now let's go outside here you can see that some of the muscles are in front some of the muscles are at the side and some of the muscles at the back and medial side. The muscles in front, there are a couple of muscles. First one we see, this is something like a muscle crossing the whole distance, as you can see. This muscle is the longest muscle of our body, and this is called sartorius. Unlike the previous lab exam, I am not going to give you individual muscles this time. I am going to give you this one like this and I am going to point some of the muscles here so that you can see the relationship and you can figure them out. It is easy, easier than before, right? But you have to know how they are arranged and how they look like at least. Okay, it's easy. So this muscle is called sartorius muscle. It is also called Taylor's muscle because previously we didn't have electric sewing machines, right? We have got something like that and continuously doing something like that, this muscle used to get very big, and that's why it's called Taylor's muscle, all right? Not the Taylor Swift muscle. <laughs> okay. Now, here, you can see right in front, this is the front, of course, but right in front, four muscles are over here. And these four muscles, we call them quadriceps femoris. This one, right here, in the middle, it is called rectus femoris. <clears throat> Sorry. This is straight, right? Rectus femoris. And below and side, we have got three vastus muscles over there. The lateral one is called vastus lateralis. The medial one is called vastus medialis. And the one below, there is a muscle right here. There is a muscle right here. That is called vastus intermedius. All four muscles together, they form a common tendon that is called tendon of quadriceps femoris and you know patella will form inside that tendon. And down below, we don't call them tendon anymore, rather we call it patella tendon. But you know, that is the same thing. All right. So these are the muscles of the front. Now in the medial side, in the medial side, we have got three adductor muscles, all right, three adductor muscles are over here. The adductor muscles are called adductor magnus, brevis, and minimus. Sorry, uh, medius and brevis. Magnus is the largest muscle, adductor magnus, but unfortunately, you don't see much of it. Adductor magnus, you just see only a little part of adductor magnus right here. Adductor medius, you see the main muscle right here, adductor medius. Adductor magnus, very small portion. Even though that is the largest muscle, but this is actually buried by other muscles. So adductor magnus, you see only the part right here. You see the adductor medius right here. You don't see the adductor brevis because that is so small. Don't worry about it. What about this muscle? This is something additional. You can feel this muscle right in the medial side. This muscle is called gracilis. Gracilis. This is also in the medial compartment along with three adductor muscles. This is not a named adductor muscle. It does not have the name adductor, but this is also a powerful adductor. It has got a different name, gracilis. All right. Now let's